All school year long, the deadlines never stop for the staff of Conifer High's student newspaper, The Lobo Legend. And that's a good thing, since these young journalists have so much ambition to burn through. Pull a bridge and look through photos. That applies not only to the student reporters, photographers, and editors, but to their advisor, Leslie Thompson, who also oversees Conifer's yearbook and the school's broadcast news program, Lobo Tracks. Start here. Read through it. See if you have any questions for me. I think they're going to learn best. I think I'm going to learn best with them when we're thrown into the thick of things. Thompson is all about connections and networking to get her students exposed to all kinds of storytelling. And so as I've begun this journey, I have made friends in a variety of industries and I'm going to keep calling on those friends and ask them if they will help these wonderful kids. Even if it's not journalism with a big J. Well, I love the Mountain Pond Cabin. It's got all the land I could ever want. I mean, definitely everything we want to do outside is right there outside of our door. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of point it generally at that table and back it up a little bit further. Thanks to Thompson, two of her students, seniors Forrest Sarnecki and Ben Easton, we're given the chance to shadow a TV production crew from HGTV's Log Cabin Living series. Yeah, it definitely helped with like seeing how they go about setting their cameras and inter like interacting with each other and other people on the shoot. It's not just like one camera person setting up. Like they sync all their settings, and the sound guy is constantly talking to them and letting them know if their microphones are working and all this other stuff. The crew filmed an episode in Conifer, and one of the shoots involved the ice cream store Licks that Thompson happens to own. They were being given the opportunity to sit in with the producers, go over the script, see how they did their scripting, look at it on the tablet, and, and hear them making decisions about everything that was going to happen. They had the big, big old the Sony and the Panasonic ones, the big shoulder rigs like that, everything. It's just things. huge light stands with tons of LEDs and stuff. This bit of behind the scenes reality TV left the students impressed and much wiser about what goes into it. But both seem firmly committed to staying their original career courses. I kind of want to go into documentary production. I want to do that when I'm older. It did give me more of an insight into the video world itself rather than still photojournalism. So they got to see eight professionals working together as a collaborative team doing what these guys love to do. And whether or not that's the way they go, they got a slice of it. <laughs>